It has been a while since I posted a vlog here at KLGCC's West Course um, or at KLGCC in general. So let's, I mean, it's been a lot of traveling. So let's just, thought I'd just record today's round and see what we can shoot out here. <laughs> So the t-shirt unfortunately went into the bunker. I've got 149 yards playing 151, um, wet conditions, but I do have a bunker lip over there. So it's either, I feel like with the conditions, I should be hitting closer to a 160 shot, which is, I mean, especially out of sand too, it's gonna take off some distance, but that's gonna be my six iron. And I don't know if I'm gonna go carry that lip in front of me. So it's gonna be, either a 6 iron which I can go for the pin or it's going to be a 7 iron which I'm going to have to play a lot more conservatively because there are two bunkers in front of today's pin position as well so we'll figure it out once we get down to the bunker Hole 2 is a long hole, we've got 183 to the pin today which is tucked left, it's a back pin tucked left. So it's definitely one of those holes where you do not go for the pin. Um, also we've got a long club and the ball is really not running today, it's really wet because it was raining all morning. So I am probably just going to try to get this somewhere in the centre of the green. Also if you're wondering why I'm playing different tee boxes, it's because I'm trying to play the tee boxes that they played for the LPGA that was held here. But I'm not so sure what tea boxes they use for the rest of the holes because I didn't walk like every hole. But yeah. But that's why I played off the white tees on this hole. So yeah. <laughs> Trying to play this smart shot, but I either aimed it a bit too far right or I pushed it a little bit. I've got an interesting chip coming up, which you will see why really soon. So normally I would just whack my driver on this hole, this par 5, but because um, today I shot it and it's actually 240 to reach the bunker and I mean if I hit a good drive he's gonna get in the bunker, even with today's wet conditions maybe not, but still like 
I feel like it's actually not worth it to hit the driver. Might as well hit the fluid because from this tee box, it's not really going to be a two on hole for me anyway. Uh, worst to worst, I have to hit a longer second shot, maybe a three wood instead of a seven wood. But like, I think a lot of us get complacent of like playing our, our course that we always play and we don't think about the shots that we have to hit because we hit the same shots every single time. So sometimes it's worth it to just reevaluate and see like what is the best shot for the hole like it doesn't just because you've played one course the same like over and over again doesn't mean you have to keep doing the same thing over and over again so yeah every now and then you know make sure that you're even if it's your home course make sure that you're doing what actually should be done uh, rather than just going with habit and routine I hit two semi-decent three woods and now I've got about 82 yards with the slope playing about 85 so yeah don't always have to hit everything you've got uh, just find the biggest part of the fairway and hit it to there <laughs> This hole, very similar to the other part 5, where it's about 240 to reach the bunker on the right, but on the left I thought I could carry that bunker, it was about a 235 carry. And let me just show you where my ball ended up. Yep, right there, 235 carry. <laughs>
that was fast i'm getting sunburned but yeah you know not the best of shots but just gotta truck her on and see what we can do next So on this hole we've got 245, 235 with the slope to carry that right bunker. It makes a huge difference knowing that you can carry the bunker because if not, there is a bunker left and right which makes the ferry very narrow. So I always believe that every information is good, whether it's good information or bad information. Like if I cannot carry that bunker, it's also good to know. 
because then obviously my ferry become more narrow but then I have I know that I the ferry is narrow so then it kind of makes you focus a little bit more to you know pick a smaller target whereas since I know that I can carry that bunker I can just aim right and let my draw play it play uh, let my ball draw back into the fairway if I wanted to or I could just hit a straight shot that gives me more options as well <laughs> Lizard on the green This is the fastest Oh poor little guy So of course on the previous hole and I finally made a long birdie putt, my camera overheated. So let's try to make one for you now on camera. <laughs> I think the biggest thing is a lot of times you're not going to be able to show up with the same swing same body condition every single day you know sometimes you get sore from the gym it's gonna affect your swing but I think that's it that's why short game is so important because it's really hard to like even if you're sore even if you don't feel good your short game can always back you up if you have a good short game so that's why it's so important to practice your short game more than anything if you really want to score